here are your social studies assignments for the week of October 12th to the 16th, 2020. First thing, and the reason I want to get this out on a Friday, is the salt dough. There's a recipe for salt dough that is attached to this assignment. It has three basic ingredients. Uh, like you to make that at home, make it at home, and then bring it to school. So make it at home, and then bring it to school. Whether you come on Wednesday or Friday, that just gives you a little bit more time to do that. Again, the recipe has three ingredients. Those three ingredients are all-purpose flour. You could probably use whole wheat flour if you have whole wheat flour, or cake flour, or bread flour. All-purpose flour, it's flour. If you have a, a gluten allergy, you can also use some types of gluten-free um, flours as well. Next, we have salt. Bad for the blood pressure. Good for salt dough, hence the name, and water. So those are the three ingredients. There will be a recipe on um, this along with this assignment. That recipe calls for two cups of flour, one cup of salt. That's going to be more dough than what we need for our uh, project. So you can either make a full recipe and leave half of it at home, or you could make a half a recipe and bring all of it. It's up to you. If you do not have these ingredients, please let me know uh, with enough time so that way I can make, or rather have my helper at home make some salt or dough for you. Next, we have our textbook and online chapter review. Those questions are found on page, ah, they're in your textbook. The assignment will have the page number, but it's a chapter review at the end of chapter two, actually at end of chapter three, excuse me. It is on page 86 and page 87. Now, some of you who are listening and who have been watching this video, and um, this is the part where you can earn some extra credit. So in a email or private comment, if you tell me what this Disney pin is, you will get 10 points of extra credit. So that is a Disney pin for extra credit. Um, moving on, we have uh, Mesopotamia, which is an Ed puzzle. So if I cruise down here to that and I click on Ed puzzle, you'll see it is Mesopotamia. It is due, or it starts on October 12th and it is due on the 16th. So that is about a 14 minute video with about 17 questions. Coming back to our assignments, um, we also have ReadWorks, and it's the Code of Hammurabi. There's a few things about the ReadWorks that I'm not sure if you remember since we haven't done too many of these. So one of them is you can read the article as it is right here. You can also listen to the article right here. The Code of Hammurabi by ReadWorks. Super. Excited. We may take for granted the existence. Another option. If you're like, wow, these words are really challenging. I don't know a lot of these words. You can go to step reads. So step reads, step read one and step read two. So if the original version is just a little bit challenging, you can go to step read one, where some of the words are a little bit um, easier to understand, and you still have questions, but it just puts it in a different Lexile level. So, or if even, if that is also challenging, or if the first one is very, very challenging, you can go to step read two, and they all have the uh, audio option, so you can click the on that. The code of Hammurabi, SR2, fine. In some states, you may be put to death if you kill another person. So in that exciting thing. So then you will have the question set at the end of that. So you have these. Please make sure to answer in complete sentences so you can get complete credit. No complete sentences, no complete credit. I've said it here on the video. And I will write it on the assignment to help you with that as well. What we have left are this little bit of info, test next week. So not the week of the 12th to the 16th, it is the following week, the week of the 19th through the 23rd. 
So if you see a chapter review coming up, usually it happens that not too long after, there will be a test after that. So the Zoom meetings will be on our regular class schedules on Wednesdays and Fridays, depending on when you come from school or when you come to school or when your distance learning group is scheduled for meetings. If you are in distance learning, you're always invited and welcome to pop onto the meetings. If you have questions about the schedule, you can let me know. If you have questions about anything else, you can also let me know. So have a great weekend. Look forward to seeing you next week.